We are at Streetopia in Observatory Cape Town. It's like a street festival. This is the toned down version because of COVID probably, but uh, yeah, let's go check out Streetopia. Street festival. I have the director here. Lisa, director. Piti. Music vibes and stalls everywhere. Streetopia, the annual event at Observatory in Cape Town, South Africa, is like supposed to be a kind of a street festival. Here is what they say about it on their website. Streetopia is an annual event that brings communities and creatives together for a day of color, creativity and good vibrations. It's free and everyone's invited. I've been to a few street tapias before and they're usually loud and there's lots of music and people in the street. This one was very quiet, obviously because of COVID, but uh, it was still fun. I love the idea of bohemian communities taking over the streets and having a festival, making a city and the urban environment a living artistic place to be and live. The audio is going to be not so good because it's windy and I only have the cell phone to record audio on but yeah, I'm going to show you what I can and it'll be what it will be. Hello. There's a bit of a vibe there. Not a bad vibe. It's an interesting little car here. Yeah? Small car with a small number plate. Like a bar. There's already a camera here. Bikers don't want the camera here. There's my phone. They saw it. Band setting up. Some cannabis, marijuana stuff. Anyway, you get the idea, it's a street festival. Kind of. This is the famous armchair theater in observatory. It's pretty famous, been here for ages.
Let's see what's going on here. Not much of a street festival, it's pretty quiet. Apparently they can't close the street, so it's a, not as exciting as it was previous years. Chris White. Hello, Chris. Hello. Hello, people. So Chris is uh, from Free Wild World, and he was telling us about his uh, production. You can visit him at Free Wild World. But listen, hey, we're not a commercial radio station, so we can't really advertise. Well, that's cool too guy. late now. He's but just a cool guy. Go you know? check out the YouTube channel. I'm making a little, a little vlog about yeah. Streetopia. Should be on there at some point. But no, he's doing an amazing job, and nice. he's funky and good, and he's looking good. And Lucky, thanks. Go. Can you tell me about your little, uh, your venture, your little uh, thing you have, the army thing, what is it? Uh, the BLA. BLA. Oh, the BLA. What, what is the BLA? Really it was formed in 2012. And uh, the funny thing is it was about Africa Burn were having their little meeting. Okay? And these people were around a bar called the Bot River Hotel. In this famous bar. And they were uh, sitting there and one of them said, oh, he's going to an Africa Burn meeting. And they all said, oh, well, we all going to come with you. He said, no, 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 you can't. It's only for members. It's like a special meeting. So they said, well, fuck you. We're going to start our own movement called the Bok River Liberation Army. And we're going to keep an eye on you guys running Africa, Africa Burn. So that's where it all started. And now, is there a lot of tension now? Or is it cool? Do you drink together? Or do you fight each other? Or do you, do you dance? What do you do? No, no, no. no we've totally broken away. We've formed a whole new movement. It's now called BLAB. Bot for the Liberation Army Burn. And watch the news. It's coming up soon. Okay, that was just a super short vlog because I'm tired. We had a film screening last night and we had a big party, so it's just a little bit of street topia. Yeah. And now I'm going home, I'm gonna get into bed. Uh, they're gonna take me home and I'll see you in a couple of days. How's it, guys? Hello.
Fun times are going on when I'm too tired.